I'm Martha Josie and I'm here with Ty Mitchell and the fit and how you adjust your bit is so important. Well what you're looking for number one make sure you get it the bit hooked up to the head stall properly. Good rule of thumb the curb chain head stall are hooked up on the same end. Uh, something else I'm looking for when I put this on a horse I want to make sure I have a head stall that's going to allow me to adjust it properly. This is a long cheek piece uh, so that bit's going to require a shorter head stall. When I'm adjusting this these bits will come with a bit uh, a bit guard but I want to right for the video purposes I'm wanting to show it without it that way we can you can see how it adjusts but as a good rule of thumb these bits should be picked up into the mouth where you have one to two wrinkles in the curb chain you should be able to get a couple of fingers between the chin and the chain. Ty's going to show you too when you take this halter on always make sure that you've got something to hold on to him with. Now what I'm looking for when I put, pull back on the shanks, I should get a little bit of movement here. This curb chain may be a little loose, so I'm gonna go ahead and, with my Adelink, adjust this. And always remember on these links, the rough side goes to the outside. Never point it into the horse because it could rub. And what I'm looking for is I should be able to get a couple of fingers between the chin and the chain. That way it's got a little bit of movement before it makes contact. Now, when your bit is adjust, adjusted properly, you're gonna have a more effective uh, run. Your timing's gonna be better. If your bit's not adjusted properly, everything's delayed. You get a slow uh, reaction time with the bit and everything in barrel racing is happening fast. 